postman, Professor Billy Mayo. This is not a glorification or a glamorization. This is an education. You can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and 15. Lock the door. Professor Melly Miller, Hood Post, man. So who am I with today? You here with OG Killer Mike from Atlantic Drive, Compton Crips. And don't what? Don't panic Atlantic. <laughs> the originator of the don't origin panic of Atlantic. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You are you telling me you the one that started that phrase? The orchestrator in YTS back in 1980 had a music room and I did raps then and decided to do Atlantic's Don't Panic. Okay. And that's how the name became Atlantic's Don't Panic. It's a rap in back of it. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. So man, uh so let's back up a little bit. So what year did you move on into the neighborhood of, of Atlantic Ride? It had to be 1974, 75. 74, 74, 75. 75, we moved on Washington and Caldwell. Washington and Caldwell. Yeah. And who were some of the first people that you met over there? The first people that I met over there were Smokey, Old Pappy, Insane, Jody, Tino, the Wright Brothers, Featherstone, Furry, uh, it's a gang. It's Did a, you know the twins, <laughs> Ronnie and Donnie? Ronnie and Donnie. Yeah. yeah. Ronnie yeah. and Donnie. Yeah, always handed at Kelly Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronnie and Donnie. I talked to Ronnie uh, about three months ago. Yeah, so they were some of the very first Atlanta. They guys. were. They were, yeah. Him yeah, and Jeffrey Brown. Jeffrey and Brown, yeah. And I was down the street from Benson Jones. And Benson and Jones. Benson Jones, yeah. And the Jones family. The Jones okay. family, yeah. So, you know, I remember you guys at school. Let me see. You, Old Pappy, Terrence McCray, Smokey, mm -hmm. Brotherstall, Dutch. Ron Dog, Dutchman. Dutch, we yeah, Ron Smokey. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. was going to Roosevelt. Yeah. Well, well, you know, when I first met you guys, you was at Dominguez by then. Because I didn't go to Roosevelt. Oh, okay. So, you met us at Dominguez. Yeah, at Dominguez. Yes. Because we went to uh, Roosevelt first. Um, that's when we used to walk and pick up Bodacious Bub and Spud, and we would go through um, and pick up Ray Martin, and you know, so Scruncho then was around. Richard Martin, Ray Martin, Scruncho, Ray Martin, uh -huh, and the older brother, I mean, the older Scruncho. Remember, we had one that too. Oh, but that's 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 uh, Richard. Richard, Richard Martin. Uh -huh. Yeah, rest and, in uh, peace, Richard. Yeah, rest in peace, Richard. Yeah, and we would get up and um, run into. Um, Frosty, I ran into Frosty, I ran into, um, what's his name, Benny Prince? Benny Prince? Benny Prince, that's when, um, oh man, I met Ken Tate, that's when I, that's my best friend there. Right, 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 right. you and yeah. Ken, yeah, you, cause Ken was going with Kitty O. Yeah, time. he was going with Kitty O. Yeah, so yeah, he got a baby but by Kitty Talk o. about the relationship that Santana and Wang Drive had. Well, you know, we was brothers, we were, we are brothers, and Ken Tate is my best friend, and you talking about we was family. When Ken come to my house, he's sleeping. Uh, Bay Rock, sleeping. Uh, I know Pat Rat, Pee Wee, Yogi, Boo Boo, uh, you know, all of them. And the list goes on. The list goes on. And like you say, with a line drop, we was all friends. We would go to they hood, and they would come with ours. We'd eat, roll. I tell you, Tracy put it in, because I talk to Tracy all mm -hmm. the time. And Tracy put it in terms, man, y'all was our big brothers, man. Yeah. And, 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 and we talked about a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. We talked about certain situations that we ain't going to talk about yeah, today. Right, right. Because that's between <clears throat> us. Yeah. And, uh, but since then, man, because it was never posed to get like it to is. Where, where it is. And, right, and, right. And, and it's time that we set we that heal. stuff aside yeah. and heal and continue to be here. Yeah. Back brothers or, or whatever we need to do. Yeah, but that's let's true. get let's get into the history of it, man. When I was born in Dominguez, man, one of the hardest dudes up there was Tino. Tino, yeah. Tino, man. When I saw Tino uh -huh. walking around the Dominguez with that blue rag, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like he didn't have a care yeah. in the world. Yeah, well, Tino was like my mentor. Mm -hmm. I mean, him and Jody, you know, mm -hmm. they older than me, and I'm I'm like now I'm sixty two, uh -huh. so I kind of looked up to Tino and I looked up to Jody because they was really gangsters but they was really you know um brothers and brothers to me and terrence and smokey and um old happy and all of us what about jb 
JB, Johnny B, that's my boy. Uh, they called us three the hard way. Me, him, and Ken Tate. Michael Thomas, Johnny B, and Ken Tate. Right. You won't know. And DJ nowhere. used to be with y'all. DJ, yeah, yeah. Daryl Jasper. Yeah. yeah, Daryl Jasper. Like I say, it's just it was just love. Whoever you seen, whoever you heard you was in, that's what we did. We gathered up. We was brothers. We would walk to the English Square. You start off on that drive, and the next thing you know, you in the neighborhood, and you walking with Bubs and them, then we'll get the Boulevard 69th, and you know, you go through the South Side, and everybody is going to the English Square. Man, some of the best parties was on in the in the on <laughs> White Street, Washington <laughs> yeah. Street, yeah. Cook yeah. Anchor Street, yeah. especially especially a lot of drive. Yeah. The Joneses and them had always had right. a lot of parties, but right. yeah, that's when parties was party. Man, I would never miss a party, man. No. I would always, even if I had to ride my ten speed yeah. over there. That's what I'm getting. I mean, at. You remember my homie Mario, Mario, Mario yeah. Woodby. Yeah, Mario. Mar yeah. um, I know Mario Woodby. Mark Wood, yeah, that yeah, was my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, he got, he got, he got out on one of the people yeah. over there at the drive yeah. over there. And, Mar uh, Mario, what happened to Mario? Man, I, I don't know what actually happened to him. I know that he's rest in peace, okay. but I can't tell you. Exactly. I think the last time I seen Mario, what Mario? Mario Wood, yeah, Maury I seen Wood. him. Yeah, the last time I seen him and Boo and Ken Tate at the uh, posing contest right. at Dominguez. Right. Yeah. But but Maury surprised me because somebody pushed up on Maury. Now, when they pushed up, everybody thought it was gonna go the way that way. Right. But right. Maury flipped it on him yeah. and and, yeah. <laughs> and put dude on the ground. You Maury know, it wasn't no joke. And the dude that, that I'm talking about uh -huh. was a hand guy from over there on the red side. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, well, let's get back. Now, let me get to the red side. The red side, when I was coming up, these old names, mm -hmm. it was uh, Marcus Nunn, mm -hmm. um, Stutterbox, mm -hmm. um, Elliot Ness, mm -hmm. um, Artender. You know, we go back into the Stanley, Pitt. Stanley Pitt, original Stanley Pitt. Yeah, mm -hmm. Stanley and Ricky. Mm -hmm. Ricky Pitt's his brother. And it was a war mm -hmm. with us, but it wasn't really the killing war then. It was mm -hmm. just fighting. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Then they come out with the guns and people started getting killed. So the retaliation got real messy. Then. Do you think the 80s had something to do with that because of, the, you know, the change in the dynamics because of the crack cocaine? You no. Know? You know what, Mel? I'm going to disperse that one because it was before the crack came. Because back then we was just smoking uh, uh, Sherman and we were smoking Lovely. And, uh -huh. You know, drinking Bitter Dog uh, and uh, stuff like that. So... It's when the it had a little bit to do with the gang. I mean, with the drugs, because that's when the big guns started coming, the AKs uh -huh. and uh -huh. AR-15s. But back in the day, it was street fights. Right, it was street fights. You gonna make it home, or you gonna, you know, it was knives. And let's put it like that, cake cutters. Remember mm -hmm. those back in the mm -hmm. days? So, like I say, we well, also on. everybody knew karate. Yeah, well, you had we had Willie McKinley, we had uh, uh Dutch. Dutch, we had Dick, we had the Dutchman, we had uh all of them doing karate when we was going to Dominguez. Half step, half step, yeah, yeah, half step, yeah. That's right. With the, with the karate geese and <laughs> talk to us, talk to me about Dominguez. What was Dominguez like for you? You know what? I didn't stay long at Dominguez. My first year, I was supposed to be in class of 79. I was kicked out of school for shooting at the gym teacher and stuff like that. And he sent me to Compton High. But the reputation I had because I was hitting wise and youth authorities and um, juvenile halls and wayside. And I, I just started doing it a lot of time. So I didn't stay long at Dominguez. I stood there probably I was in about six months and I went to Compton High and I get to the office and they tell me, no, we got a record on you. You can't get here. So they sent me to Tubby Community Continuation mm -hmm. and they got a record on me. And did you end up going to Clyde McDonald? No, I was. I went to YA. Okay. I went to Youth Authority. Authority. Yeah, it was my, like my second trip to Youth Authority. And, and how long did you spend in Youth Authority? The first year, uh, like three years. Three years. Three years. I went through Norwalk and I went through El Paso de Robles. Uh, so was you there with SAG and all that was there? Uh, SAG did it was somewhere else when I got there. Uh -huh. I went to, uh, like I say, I, my first sentence was El Paso de Robles, okay. school for boys. Then I got out, caught another case. Then I started hitting um, the Crip Maggio and, uh, you know, like I say, Wayside and Bisco Center and things like that. So then I wind up in YTS and my one of my best friends was Monster Cody, Patriot Gangster. 
Uh, what was that relationship like? You know what? Me and Moss was like brothers. We was like brothers. Uh, you know, he was funny. He was swole. We were swole. You know, but Moss was always the biggest. And we just had a lot of love, but we had a lot of confidence out here. And now we get into the Atlantic Zone Panic. Mm -hmm. Because when we get to YA, I think I've been to YA for nine years. I did nine years in YA back and forth. So the next time I come, I'm up there. Mr. Mill, rest in peace, come up there. LZ, rest in peace, came up here. Um, oh, this is a gang of the homies. Is Roger Scott there. up there as well? No, Roger wasn't up there. Just insane me. But it was like maybe 12 of us from Atlantic, and that's when he had the music thing. So that's when I tell you, I go to music class, and I'm writing these poems, and I'm just like, Atlantic, don't panic. I'm like, what's going with it? Don't panic. And it was like, who's walking in ones? Ain't sweating no girls. Don't panic. And he had Atlantic. Who's walking in twos and knocking out fools? Don't panic, you know. And we go up and and everybody loved it. So when we come home, you know, I got this song and and it, the whole hood knew. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So that's where the don't panic come in. Okay, yeah. okay. So those those old early years, it, it seemed like you know, because when I think about it, it was a lot of fun hanging out in the parties yeah. and hanging out in everybody's different neighborhoods. And uh, it was a lot of love. I still got that picture from the workshop. Yeah, the we workshop. Yeah. was on yeah. at the workshop. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I had it on my phone too. Uh -huh. That's when we went to the workshop that night. Uh -huh. Now I'm talking about all the way from Compton to the workshop, and uh -huh. it was a grip of us. It was, right. a grip. but we enjoyed ourselves again. That's what the family was for. We right. called ourselves one family. So right. when I was coming up in the hood, any hood I go to, these was my brothers. Right, and. You know, you're gonna make sure you protect it, you love, you know what I mean? We're gonna ride together and you're gonna get away home. Right. <laughs> How did you get the name Killer Mike? You know what? One day uh, we was on Atlantic Drive and it was like 77. So it was me, Featherstone, Old Pappy, Terrence, and Craig. And we had the spray can, the spray cans. And I didn't really have a name, you know what I mean? Because I'm just now getting into this grip and stuff. And all of a sudden, I, I see Featherstone write Dr. Featherstone. And I'm like, Okay, that's Featherstone. And then uh, Terrence wrote his name. He was a little red back then. And then he changed it to Smokey. And so I was like, sure, I need a name. You know what I mean? So I just came out with the killer. And then I put Mike underneath it. So from there, we all had our names. I tell you, Mike, everybody knew you from your walk. You had one of the coldest yeah, walks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what I do? I get a lot of people. They somebody they know me from here. Always the hair and always the wall. Man, you still rocking that it's, long hair. I got to. And it's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mine. But you know, the blessing is uh, 60 some years and we still here. Right. You know I mean? And that's the part I love. That's why I enjoy doing this with you. Because, you know, I was kind of hesitant. But I'm like, you know, that's my folks. And right. people really need to know. And right. this gang stuff and this peace and part of this life, man, we've been around it since the 70s. It is 2023, so I know I'm blessed to still be here. What was your relationship with Kelly Park? Because you guys were like right there. We was, us and Kelly Park, that was our park. Kelly Park was our park. What I mean by that, when we go up there, we run into Daryl Bradford and Deets and all of them. We was brothers. And when we wanted to get away from my life, we would come to Kelly Park. <clears throat> and the Santanas, you know, when they wanted to come, they'd find us there or Anthony uh, Hicks, I'm Anthony, Anthony Hicks, Hicks. Yeah, yeah. Anthony Leroy Hicks. Hicks, Anthony Hicks, yeah, yeah. all of them. Uh, Wayne Johnson, uh, right. the Bradfords, uh, like I say, picking him, whoever wanted to come, we will come. Yeah, the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods, there. just like us when we went to Oaks Park. I used to always go to Oaks Park. Right. And that's where I met uh, Tookie. Right. And uh, me and Ken Tate, you know, we used to always go up there. Yeah, because the Red House was right there. The Red up. House right there, because remember, we had Bob Simmons boys on the right. Line Drive. Right. Right. So I met a lot of, I mean, ooh, real crips from Los Angeles. You know, I ran into Bungie. I met up Sophie from the first time, uh, OG Sophie, our big homes mm -hmm. uh, over there. So yeah, it was like, we was known. Let's put it like that. That's right. what I'm going to say. From right. the Red House, from Atlantic Drive, the Red House, the Block, the South Side, uh, where we was known. But we was known as a family. Uh -huh. And like I say, you start off going to the English Square, with just 10 of us, and by the time we get to the English Square, it's 120. Right. Did you know Bitter Dog Bruno, too? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's my boy. Yeah. I love me. I met Bitter Dog up in a 48 crib watch. Me, Bitter Dog, Mike Stone, uh, Yogi, uh, uh, my homie, rest in peace, Hawk, 
Tall man. All of us was up in here. Baby I gangster. remember Tall. Yeah, Tall man. Yeah. What happened to Tall? Tall man. Um, tall man is in. Uh, I'm gonna say Washington. Yeah, cause Tall, we all went to school together. Yeah. Me, yeah. Tall, Jeff Brown, Jeff Blue, Brown. Uh huh. A fish was there. Yeah. Um, let's see who else was there. Of course, uh, Tino and uh, Mario Wood. Mario Wood. What about yeah. Tyrone? I haven't seen, I haven't heard nothing to see none of Tyrone in years. Man. In years. Yeah. 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 See, we go back with names. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And we identify the names. So right. That's why when me and you decide to do this, we want to say Millie Mac. Yeah, one of the fightingest dudes I've ever seen was Benson Jones. Benson, Man, that Benson, dude. Because Benson stood in trouble. Benson Jones stood in trouble, so he did a lot of fighting. But Benson Jones was Bojo. King Bojo. Yeah, he could squab, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, he could squab. Yeah, he could squab. Let me see. I tell you, the only one that from my hood that stood in a lot of trouble was Terrence McGray. Smokey. Well, Smokey, man. Smokey stood in things, but that was my road dog at that time. That was my road dog. That's one of the first person that ever got me to start doing things I, I didn't want to do, but I did them. And I was glad I did. You feel me? The money was good. <laughs> and he was all about that money. Right. You know? And like I say, Smokey's real name was Lil Red. And then he was. Thought he was real handsome then. He had a six deuce, and no matter all the women's called him Smokey, and that's all he played in this card. So he changed his name to Smokey. Man, shout out to Smokey. Man. Yes, shout out to Smokey to everybody from the drive, everybody from Compton. Yeah, I miss my folks. I miss my folks. Lock the door. Straight out of Compton, original streets Grew up with the lion, see what the criminals see Now he a giant and a pivotal key Got it down to a science, this the visual streets He came up with bullet, he came up with turtle Live life to the fullest, he put it all in the journal We dodging them bullets, we jumping them hurdles It's the hood postman, we in the streets universal uh. For the postman, Professor Belly Mail This is not a glorification or a glamorization This is an education you can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and the 15th. Lock the door.